So on this particular Swift fairway that we're in at the moment, the Platinum, we've got a light switch here located on this offside uh, wardrobe. So if I operate that, it's going to turn off most of the light, uh, which is at roof sieving level. Uh, we've still got the two spotlights illuminated, but again with the little rocker switches, as you, you're aware, on the base plate. And we've also got the USBs on those base plates. Uh, you can increase that intensity or decrease the intensity of the light, as I say, by rotating the knob not at the rear of the light stem itself. Okay, so switch here, turn those lights back on for filming purposes. And uh, also in this uh, similar area, in a fixed bed area, we've got a TV area here. So we've got a main supply, a 12 volt point, and also a coaxial point for a TV to be mounted on this particular plinth. So you can be watching television from the bed area, should you wish to. Uh, just coming back to the wardrobe, which I forgot, there is a little nice cupboard unit underneath, uh, but also featuring a small drawer unit that just draws forward uh, and rotates back like so. And then for more storage, uh, to gain access to this fixed bed on this particular one, it's a double bed, you grab the aluminium frame and you just raise it up like so. so I'm just grabbing the frame itself, the physical frame, and just raising that up. Uh, and now this will uh, reveal what we've got in here. The spare wheels are now located underneath the uh, fixed beds. Um, there's not many that are on carriers on the Swift products, but it's just a case of releasing this central nut. As you can see now, I've taken that out of the way, and that has goes into a, into a small plate, as you can see. Sorry for the noise. Never been able to remove one of those uh, without making a noise, creating noise. And then basically just put the bolt back in, centralise it. There's the base plate going in. Just give it a quick tap to get it central and lock it in place like so. And that is that spare wheel anchoring into place. So very easy to get a spare wheel uh, in an emergency situation. Uh, you haven't got to worry about the traffic going by, uh, which often is the case when you've got spare wheel carriers on. As this bed frame lowers down, this jaw just grabs that central frame there just to make sure it guides in and therefore it doesn't move around. And it's got two gas struts which retain and keep the bed in an upright position when uh, you need to gain access. Uh, they're really good, strong gas struts. Okay, so. These are some of the features that you see in this particular vehicle. I'll just talk about the doors because uh, it is quite nice I'll talk about these items, these sliding doors. So first off, they have a little catch which holds it back, as you can see. And as you draw it across, there's another catch there that holds it in place. So a double catch, top and bottom, just to, when it's in open or closed position. But when in transit, you must put the transit catch in place, which is a shooting bolt it goes up into this frame here and then stops that door from moving in transit so that's just making you aware about the sliding doors and the travel catch that you need to engage when you are going to go uh, traveling thank you very much